Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AMR. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time, Frampton does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Overall, a, a good day, a little disappointing though. I mean, at one point the price had actually broken above both these areas of resistance that I talked about in the video from Monday. However, by the time the closing bell came around, price actually closed back below both these red lines. Or in other words, there's still gotta be considered areas of resistance. Now, I would fully agree that both 12 cents and 13 cents as levels of resistance were weakened up after today. Uh, but still, even though they're a weakened level of resistance, they are still a level of resistance nonetheless. So those are, you know, remain those two key, you know, levels to keep an eye on going forward. Um, so again, from that point of view, individually looking at today as just one single day, yeah, a, a disappointing day, but looking at more than one day, you can see that overall the, the, the big picture chart is still perfectly fine. I mean, especially when you consider where the lows have been. So not that long ago, there was lows down here. Now, now all of a sudden the, the lows have been right there. And then if the price can stay up around here, well then, in, and especially if you envision those as stair steps, what do you have? Well, you'd still very clearly have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. Now, I do realize perspective in the sense of you are some sort of day trader, scalper, flipper, whatever you wanna call yourself, and you bought right there, you bought right there, and your plan was to buy and sell within 10 minutes. Well, then, yeah, from that point of view, the chart's looking much more shakier. But assuming you care about just the big picture general framework of things, yeah, pulled back, but Overall, the price still has plenty of opportunities to be building those higher lows. And as I talked about in Monday's video, that is continuing where the purple line comes into play, which makes kind of measuring the health of the trend the easiest, because that line will continue to move itself higher and higher, or it's kind of like a tread line that'll draw itself for you. So as long as the price stays above the quote unquote tread line there, that purple line, then that implies that the big picture bulls and big picture trend are fully in you know, the, the, the upward favor. And that's what you wanna see assuming you are long. So yeah, today, a little disappointed it pulled back, but price still has an opportunity to chip away and build that higher base and it's still well up above that purple line. So let's see how this, uh, the remainder of this week continues to play out and I guess remainder, but still three days left. So yeah, a lot of time left. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.